Welcome to the Blue Cafe. We offer stories of infidelity, betrayal, and redemption. Please like and subscribe. Cheers. Now, on to today's story. Wife of nearly nine years cheated, three small kids, don't know what to do, need support, advice. Need support. Throw away account for obvious reasons. It really pains me to write this, but I am really struggling right now, and I need some support and advice. I apologize for the length. Background. My wife, 31, and I, 32, have been married for nearly 9 years, and have been together for almost 11 years. We have 3 small daughters, 6,4,4, twins. Since the kids were born, we fell into the roommate trap and our intimacy has been decreasing. She was self-conscious after the children were born, especially the twins. We started marriage counseling at the start of this year. When I came to her shortly after the new year, I was very emotional because I felt like we were drifting apart. Our intimacy had become non-existent. We were in counseling for about 5 months this year and the counselor had recommended we pause marriage counseling and we both did individual counseling to figure out what we wanted. We have been doing that ever since. She has been a stay-at-home housewife, mom since we became married. She said that it was always her passion to be a mom and at the time she felt she was put on this earth to be a mom. I appreciated that since I grew up with a stay-at-home mom until I was in early elementary school and it was great having her there. Occasionally she will work as an extra on film production when they are in town. It has happened a couple of times over the last four years. Affair. My wife picked up an extra gig for a film that was shooting in town. First three days were great, she was super happy to be on the production set and was enjoying everything. She was networking and making connections. She recently told me that she thinks she wants to pursue acting and try to get commercials etc. One of the production staff gave her a good reference to the extra casting director and she was asked if she wanted to come back for three more days of shooting. These turned out to be afternoon into the night and sometimes all night shoots which she says she did not know when accepting the gig. The fourth day is when she met the affair partner, AP. Fourth night nothing happened, they talked with all of the other extras in a group setting. All of the extras exchanged numbers. Filming wrapped at about 1 am. The fifth day their call time was not until about 4 pm and did not wrap until 4 am. I am working full time during all of this, 7 to 5. They were messaging during the day with each other and developed an emotional connection throughout the fifth day of shooting. On the sixth day of filming their call time was not until 6 pm and wrapped at 6 am. They were sending each other inappropriate messages, sexting, no images or videos, during the day. Then that night it turned physical. They made out in the back of his car, twice, and touched each other on top of their clothes. She told me they did not have sex, which I confirmed through text messages I found to her best friend, without her knowing. She told me Sunday evening, day 7, she wrapped filming at 6 am, so it is all still very fresh and raw. Aftermath. She told me and I was numb and devastated. She said that it was over, and they broke it off. She said he blocked her number and that it is over. I ask her if she is still following him on social media and she says she didn't know. We pull up her rig together and she is still following him, and I tell her to unfollow him which she does. On day 9 we got an emergency appointment with our marriage counselor, and it turns out she re-followed him on a after she unfollowed AP in front of me. I come to find out that he is the one that really broke it off, blocked her number and said they are finished. She has since tried to reach out to him again through IC, but he has not responded. All of this happened before our marriage counselor appointment. Somehow over three days she developed a deep emotional connection with him because they had shared interests, both had strict religious upbringings and were sorting through all of that. She has since told me that she is having an identity crisis and doesn't know what she wants. She wasn't able to get closure from him because he is not responding to her, and she is grieving that loss. She said that it is her and not me and that I am perfect. 
I provide for our family well, help around the house as much as I can, am involved in our daughter's lives etc. I am not perfect and have my own issues that I am working through but will always put my kids first. Struggles. I am struggling with the fact that is literally throwing away the last 10 years of our lives and our daughter's future with some guy who she knew for 3 days. I keep asking her why did it happen, and she says she doesn't know why or won't say it. I honestly don't know if he hadn't broken it off if she would be able to or would have wanted to. I don't want our daughters to grow up having to split holidays and weeks at each other's house, but I don't know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to read this and any advice or support you are willing to give is greatly appreciated. The fact that your daughters might grow up in a broken home is her fault alone. Here's the rub, do you want them to grow up in a home that is filled with anger, hurt and mistrust? As far as the cheater? Yeah, there is no remorse from her, and she is still not choosing anything related to you. Ask her to move in with family or friends so you can have space to think about your next move. Separate finances. See a lawyer and figure out your legal future. Get into individual counseling. Stay away from marriage counseling as they like to spin it that you carry some blame, because their client is the marriage, not the betrayed spouse. All good advice. He should get STD and DNA tests as well. There's a very real possibility this isn't the first time she cheated. Good response. Hope Op will heed to your advice. Exactly this Op. Your wife made choices that as a grown ass woman you would hurt the family. RIP off the band-aid, be the best dad that you can be to your kids but don't continue the relationship with a woman that clearly no longer loves you in spite of whatever lies she spews out. It takes her 3 to 4 days for her to deeply fell in love with that guy whom she just met. She's unsure about what she wants now, despite the fact that you have identified the issues in your marriage and are actively working on it. The only thing that she has correctly said is that it's her who is the problem and not you. For your and your kids sake please end this shell of a marriage. Your kids will pick up the issues as they grow up and that will negatively impact them. They'll be needing at least one stable parent which in your case is you. She's not gonna get away from that guy anytime soon. For your own sake move on. This won't end well. You're not even her second choice. Even after he rejected her, she still isn't choosing you. You will never overcome the resentment. None of it makes any sense but she has some deep rooted issues she doesn't seem willing or ready to address. Had he reciprocated further, clearly she would have invested further in him. Implement the Grey Rock and 180 methods and begin planning for a happier life as co-parents. She's too broken to keep up and your mental health will only further degrade under this scenario. I suggest a short-term separation to truly process your feelings. The good news is your children are young and can adapt well to a healthy co-parenting relationship. This is the right way, man. You are young. Don't waste any more time here. She is addicted to this newfound drug and it will never be the same. Find a lawyer and get papers drawn up immediately and start preparing for the next step. Feel free to reach out. You need a strong support system. Don't go this alone. Also, wait until everything is finalized before moving on. It's better that way. Way too many here are reluctant to rid themselves of a cheater for the kids. In almost every case they come to regret that later. Better the kids grow up in two homes with love rather than one where they see the resentment between the parents. Kids are far more perceptive than we adults want to believe. And she's still in the affair. Even if the AP, for the moment at least, is not. But if the AP believes he's in need of a quick side piece he knows all he needs to do is unblock her and invite her over for a night of snoo snoo and she'll jump at the chance. She desires her AP, but she's using you to provide three hots and a cot for her. She has broken the trust that's required in a marital relationship. You should do a few things in full view of her. Whether or not you believe she had snoo snoo with the AP or not. You need to send her a clear message that she's broken trust. Get an STD test. Leave the paperwork for it out in a place where she can see it. It says I don't believe you loud and clear. 
Second, DNA test your kids. Even if you know beyond a shadow of a doubt you do not trust her. Next, go talk to a lawyer about divorce. Right now she's still in the affair fog. You don't hold the key to her heart, the AP does. So hand her divorce papers. That will smack her out of the affair fog. So she'll be forced to choose. Either her family or the AP. At the moment, she can still pursue the AP and have you support her. Take the best of both worlds option out of her hand. She can have one or the other, not both. If she wants to pursue the AP, she's free to do so. But the cost will be her marriage. Don't let her continue to eat cake. Adults don't just kiss, especially after a day of build-up sexting. She could just as easily have lied to her friend about the extent of what she did, or purposely texted her, knowing you might see it, to throw you off the full story. And even if there was no actual sex, she's had an emotional and physical affair and is clearly still hung up on him. Do not be Mr. Backup. Your kids need to see a strong man who stand up for his principles and not a pushover. If it was a film set, it could have been no time for sex. The sexting and fumbling around very well could be innocent. The film sets don't like sex on set, and can be quite strict about it. I do agree though that the emotional and physical aspects, not to mention how into him she is, and not even treating up like backup is telling. My assumption, he was extremely hot, showed an interest into her, made her feel validated, and quickly bonded over shared history and interests. It was the first time she has felt like this in years, she fell head over heels for him. She already lost feelings for you, she checked out the marriage, no matter what will you do or did, blocking her app is not going to work because she will find another way, she ducked him in three days, so you can think how easy she is, split personality or whatever, those are just false justification, she already know what she was doing and and still know what will be the consequences, she didn't even care about kids, after all your confrontation, she still want to contact her rap, and she already ruined 10 years of relationship not you, it's on her, how to rebuild it, if she wants reconciliation. Reconciliation is a gift, present, not a lifelong compromise. I am don't want our daughters to grow up having to split holidays and weeks at each other's house. Would you rather them model their future relationships after yours? You want them to think it is normal for one partner to be heartbroken and second choice to a cheating partner? She wasn't able to get closure from him because he is not responding to her, and she is grieving that loss. She is deep in the affair fog, she is grieving over him, when she should be grieving what she is doing to you. Contact a divorce attorney immediately, even if you decide to reconcile the relationship, you need to know what rights and options you have. You simply looking into a divorce may shake some sense into your soon-to-be ex-wife. She is deep in the fog. You need to slap her out of it. The best way is to make it real. See your lawyer and serve her papers. This gives her notice. You don't have to follow through. Also never stay for the children. They can absorb everything more than you can grasp. I'm sorry but this is a time to be assertive if you want to keep your marriage and if you don't it still is a start. No he doesn't. He needs to get out of the marriage and get as much as he can, his kids, the house, while she is still in the affair fog. I do not disagree with you and I was done and over before with the ex before she walked in the door, but it's up to each individual as to what they want to do. Most want reconciliation but will find out it's almost impossible as the relationship they had is gone, dead as the cheater killed it as the BS will never see them the same. We hope you have enjoyed today's episode. Please comment, like and subscribe. Cheers. Have a wonderful day or night. Wherever you are, 